Hey there teachers, this is Alicia, the elementary professor, back again with another fraction game with a deck of cards. Today I'm going to show you how to play Fraction War to compare fractions, and you can do this with either regular fractions, improper fractions, or mixed numbers. But it's a great way to practice comparing without having to use a bunch of worksheets. Okay, so for our comparing the fractions with a deck of cards, I'm going to take out jokers and my royalty cards. You can add those in with an assigned number value if you want to give a challenge later, but I like to not start at the challenge level. And what you're going to do with comparing fractions, this is a game like war. Whoever has the largest wins, okay? Let me these up a little bit. I'm always never sure if you're in the screen or not. Okay, so you're going to have a deck of cards. You deal it out so that each of you, two players, has half the deck. So let's say that, you know, this is me and this is you. And uh, let's do regular fractions first. So that means that I'm gonna put, I'm gonna draw two cards and put the smallest number on top. My aces are one always. Okay, so at this point, I haven't really taught um, reducing or simplifying fractions, but you can always do that if you want. So we're going to compare 1 7th to 3 6th. 3 6th is larger, so you get to keep both the cards, just like the game of war, the largest number wins. We go again, rearranging as we need to. If I drew them in another order, I would just switch them to the smallest one on top. So um, I have 1 4th or 2 8 you have 5 9 Again, you beat me, so you get to keep all the cards. Your pile's getting big over there, and I'm losing. Let's say two sevenths versus five tenths. Got to go in larger, smaller there. Okay, so again, you have pretty much a half, and I have smaller than that. So this is just, <laughs> you're a lucky person, teacher. Um, somewhere in here, I will win, maybe. Those are the breaks, you know. No, I'm not going to win this round. Four six is bigger than four tenths. Which that one was good to show them that the smaller denominator is a bigger chunk. Oh, this is your deck I picked up. You've got one fifth. Oh, I'm going to beat you this time. Three fourths. Yes. So I get to keep these. I have three fourths. You have one fifth. So these are mine. And you go through the whole deck of cards till you both run out. And then whoever has the most wins in this game, you won. Okay, so that's regular comparing fractions, comparing them just regular old fractions. You can also play it with improper fractions. Let me gather up some cards here. I have to go to your pile because you won all the cards last round. And of course I dropped them on the floor because that's how I roll. <clears throat> um, so you do the same thing, except you're gonna put the bigger number on top so that you create an improper fraction. Missed. Okay, so let's say that we each went. We wanna make our improper fraction, which means we both need to switch ours around. Okay, so eight sixths and nine fourths. So this pretty much um, comes down to one and two sixths or one and a third and two and a fourth. So you would have two holes in something. So yours is greater. So you would win both of our cards. But again, go again. We both create improper fractions. I have four holes. You have seven fifths, which is one and two fifths. So I get to win this round. All right, again, play until the whole deck is out. Whoever has the most cards wins. All right, then for mixed numbers. This is where there's a little bit of strategy and this is great for um, kids who need a challenge too because there is strategy in play here. Not a ton, but a little bit. So let's say, I'm not sure I have room here for both of them. <clears throat> So you're gonna draw, each person's gonna draw three cards and you get to look at them first this time. So those are my three, these are your three. Can you see those? Probably not, let me move this out of the way. Okay, 
These are my three, these are your three. And we get to choose on our own where these are gonna go to make our mixed number. And this is a strategy. I obviously want my biggest number to be my whole. And you can't do eight ones because that's not a right mixed number. You've got to put the smaller number on top. So I'm going to say I have an eight and one eighths. And you decide to do seven and a half. Mine's bigger, so I get to keep all of the cards this round. Then we play again. Get my three here. And you have your three. So I'm gonna do eight and three sevenths. You obviously wanna do 10 and a tenth. You win this round, so you get to keep all of our cards. And then you play until we each run out of our cards and whoever has the most cards wins, just like in war. To add a bit of a challenge for your kids who need it, you can add in for any of these, whether it's the regular fractions, the mixed fractions, the improper fractions, you can add in your um, <clears throat> your face cards and just I always put a key on the board of what I want them to be in that game a jack could be 11 you could go to order after 10 would be 11 12 13 or you could assign them each an easier number to work with like 12 15 20 something you don't already have in the number deck but you could give those two and I just write that on the board so they can refer to it as they want to again pretty much just for those kids who need the challenge and that is how you do comparing fractions war, which is very similar to doing a worksheet, but way more fun and the kids enjoy it more and get a lot of practice in that way. All right, I will see you on the next one.